These are my sketchbooks from 2018 to 2020. I have a lot of cringy and embarrassing sketches in these but it's going to be worth it if it just motivates just one person because through it you see a bit of improvements and we all have these ugly sketches, it's normal, let's get over it, let's just get into the video. Okay, during this period for some reason I was really obsessed with drawing eyes because at that time I think I was really into realism and I thought it was really cool so I was trying to replicate all these realistic eye drawings so when we get into the next page of course eyes again I was really passionate I always loved art and I, I like that I was putting in the effort at least then I have this over here which at the time I thought was so gorgeous but <laughs> Now that I look at it, I see everything so wrong with it. I think I was doing this in 2018, so eh, it's okay, it's it's fine. Let's just move on. And oh my gosh, this <laughs> the proportions are so off <laughs> over here, as you can see. Still very much obsessed with trying to understand realism. After a while, like moving on in the sketchbook, like I realized that I wasn't so into realism as I thought. I started to discover a lot more different art forms later on. I wanted to achieve more of a stylized kind of look, but semi-realism, not too realistic, not too cartoony either. Um, yeah, I think over here I was probably trying to understand the structure of eyes. But I don't think I did so much of a good job. Over here, I think I was understanding that the eye looks spherical from the side and not flat. I used to waste a lot of space back then because I was always trying to create the perfect artwork on one page, which is such a bad habit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again, eyes. But over here, I tried to use my colored pencils i was getting really into that because i was starting to see a lot of realistic colored pencil arts and i thought they were really cool so i tried to do something similar i didn't complete it probably because i thought it didn't look good so <laughs> let's just move on and again a lot of space just wasted and i tried to draw a realistic looking nose on I guess I drew an ear over here too. Ah, uh, no, this girl is actually this really popular makeup artist on Instagram. It looks nothing like her, obviously, but I just thought she was so pretty and I wanted to draw her, so I did. It looked nothing like her, but at the time I was actually really proud of this. Looking back at this, I. I see so many wrong things with it but at least i had fun one oh my gosh this is so cringy <laughs> i was probably trying to understand the head from different angles very very serious failure here because everything is so unproportional it's so off especially this this is so hilarious and scary but at least i tried like i was trying and it's it's a good thing i really love the fact that like i was trying and i tried again and again even though the all ten that was really funny <laughs> another attempt at a realistic portrait at the time i think i like this but looking at this now obviously still some issues and the nose was quite flat but i think i really like the eyes just move on to the next one lo and behold another eye oh my god i was so obsessed with eyes if you had to go to jail for drawing one particular thing too much for me it would definitely be eyes because i drew way too many eyes again an eye i think i actually posted this on my art instagram page again you guys i will link my art page in the description 
so that you can go and check out my artwork over there i haven't posted artwork over there in a long time but you can still check it out i think i was really really proud of this at the time i think i did an okay job back then <laughs> my attempt at drawing pretty strands of hair with my colored pencils i think i probably followed a tutorial over here and i tried to replicate it still 2018 i'm sure over here i tried to do a full um colored pencil drawing so i tried to replicate her beautiful eyes the nose is too long unproportional but i had fun i had lots of fun making this back then oh my gosh now this was a failure i was trying to learn how to make color pencil drawings with dark skin but i was totally unsuccessful with that which made me so sad because i'm black but i i just failed so much i didn't really understand how to make the colors look pretty but i don't think i tried to do this again because this discouraged me so much back then a lot more attempts to understand the style but <laughs> they're just so funny to look at but i'm just so happy back then i did try to practice and yeah more attempts to understand the head and i tried to draw some men i was so obsessed with drawing women back then i hardly tried to draw men so i think i made an attempt over here and they all look really cringy i mean what is going on here but i remember this reference he's such a handsome man and it was actually a difficult pose so i would cut myself some slack because there was a lot of foreshortening going on in his head and i really didn't even understand basic anatomy of the head to even talk of drawing somebody in a foreshortened form so more attempts to try to understand the head i think and then yeah i think i probably watched a pro cool lesson over here about the nose and i think i tried to the landmarks and the bones in the nose from this so i probably tried to break down the structure yeah anyway more attempts <laughs> you can even see over here i literally wrote epic feel i think i followed a tutorial here i was trying to understand how to create skin with colored pencils and then when i got here again epic feel i really wouldn't blame it on the colored pencils i think i just didn't really understand how to create the tones for dark people I don't know. I don't know what kept going wrong here. So. More attempts at the nose, and over here I try to do a colored pencil nose. That's me trying to practice more on the structure of the nose. I made these way too wide, but let's just go on. Over here. I think I was just practicing hair. This was really fun. I did some afro hair. This hairstyle was really pretty. And this, yeah, I think it's my least favorite among these. So, <sighs> just some more noises and some doodles over here. Okay. I think over here I was also trying to understand the lips. I actually like how this turned out. I think you can see the form a little bit better right here. So that is it for this particular one. Yes. That's it for this particular sketchbook. Let's move on to the next one, which I believe is from my 2019. I think this sketchbook is a 2019 sketchbook get into this one too mm, so. i remember at the time i really liked this portrait i was trying to create a perfect portrait because you know 
The first page in your new sketchbook is always scary. I started to draw this and I realized the proportions were off and I just abandoned it and I was like, okay, let me just move on to the next thing. Oh, over here, I think at this point I had gotten my fine liners, so I tried to create some fine line art. I wrote this really cute message, never give up on art. You know you really want to make it a big part of your life. It's hard to wait but worse to regret. It's cute. <laughs> Let's get to the next page. Oh my gosh. I think I tried to do really quick sketches of heads over here and my goodness. <laughs> this is really difficult for me, like so hard for me to understand. I think I tried to do a few more quick sketches, probably 30 seconds sketches from this website called line of action and more noses more noses and lips i would just randomly doodle them in my sketchbook uh, more sketches of portraits i would usually just go on pinterest and try to draw somebody off there to just practice uh, oh, okay, I think I swatched my color pencils over here. This was actually inspired by a photo of Willow Smith. I think at that time she had this, these really nice looks and I thought it was so cute so I tried to draw it because I didn't really have much experience drawing looks at that point so I tried to use this as inspiration. It doesn't look like hair, I know. You don't have to tell me. It doesn't look like hair, but I did have fun. I did have fun sketching this. Okay, so I think more quick sketches of the head. Not so impressive. It's a learning process and I'm still learning. I mean, I am not extraordinary. <laughs> or pro level yet but at least i've made a lot of progress from these so seeing this it's so funny now okay i think at this point i had got some watercolor paints so i swatched them over here this was what i could afford back then so i just got these really cheap watercolor paints and you see they weren't very pigmented i don't know that it reflects well on camera but they were actually quite pale they weren't pigmented Oosh, this, this was my attempt at a still life drawing i think this was in my diary back then in this flask i had and my saucer and teacup i remember i just set it up myself to try and practice still life oh okay i actually remember this i was trying to follow a tutorial to paint flowers from this lady, I think her name is Shada Campbell on YouTube. Because at this point, I knew nothing. I mean, nothing about like watercolor. So I was trying to um, follow her tutorial to just practice and do something fun. We have another still life. And over here, I actually used my charcoal pencil set. And you will see this in my video. My video, I think I'll just link it up here my video on my art supply tour and i don't know whether i actually reflect as glass from your perspective i really liked it back then this was an onion and this was glass okay some sketches i think this one i was doing i was doing some thumbnails i wanted to participate in october so I was trying to draw an environment because I never tried environments. I'm not so fascinated about drawing environments to be honest. I want to really get good with drawing bodies and understanding the anatomy of the entire body to create my own characters before I start even thinking about environments. But I wanted to try something different, try my hands at something new. So I did this and I had fun. Yes, like I said, I tried to participate in, in Inktober, so I think the prompt 
that time was um, ring so I tried to create something something spicy something that was given um, how should I say enchanted forest vibes oops let me get this out of the way I also did this one called mindless and the, the thought that came for me was to literally draw a woman with her brain open with nothing in there over here too i have this drawing the prompt was bait i don't even know what even made me think of this particular one because she has a rope on her neck and this bandage now this is me doing some sketches for buddies oh my gosh oh my gosh well <laughs> i think i attempted to break the body down over here too not the best but again i was i was trying another attempt gosh this looks so stiff <laughs> But like I said, I, I was having fun with it. I was trying so many things back then. Ooh, this is giving me a Spider Gwen vibe. So fun. I think I tried to implement what I was drawing over here, but I mean, her wrist looks totally broken here. Um, some really funny sketches here. Oh my gosh, the face on this. What is this? What is going on here? <sighs> Let's just move on to the next page. So I think I at this point I started drawing feet. <laughs> I I don't think I, I took time to understand the structure. I probably just saw some feet on Pinterest and I attempted to draw it with along with this pretty girl over here. I definitely didn't get the resemblance because I remember the reference and her face was definitely not this wide. Oh, I actually remember, I actually like this drawing. I think I liked her eyes. I liked the hair because, I don't know, it was a bit weird, but I just enjoyed it. I also started learning to try to draw hands over here, so... Yeah, let's just go into the next page. Ooh, I remember I was trying to draw the curly hair over here, but I really got bored. And I drew some noses. I feel like you can see a little bit of improvement with my noses at this point from the 2018 sketchbook. So, a little bit of progress. I mean, I like the shading here as compared to the other ones. After this was just like some swatches, I was doing swatches with the watercolored paint, so that's the end for this now. Let's get into my 2020 sketchbooks. With those ones, I actually dated them. <sighs> oh, okay, so this is when I started experimenting watercolor with um, my line art pencils i was trying to double a bit more into mixed media so this is what i came up with i was trying something new that i knew nothing about i was just having fun fooling about oh okay so over here i was like okay i'm always drawing a generic looking face let me try to do some expression so i tried to draw an angry girl and a smiling girl i don't know whether it looks like she's smiling but i tried that's what i was trying to achieve well oh so i really love this drawing i mean i still like it now it was really fun i loved it <laughs> and over here i used watercolor as well i just did my sketch inked it and then i used watercolor for the background here as well as her hoodie 
Yeah, it was really fun. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I would have used watercolor on her face too, but I was too scared. I was too scared that I would ruin it because I really didn't have a good understanding of color or like painting skins in the first place. Oh, so back to my first love back then, drawing eyes. I was drawing these eyes again and I think you can see they do look much better than the eyes I drew in <laughs> the first sketchbook, the 2018 sketchbook. I did some more sketches of eyes. So I actually didn't like this drawing. I actually don't have much to say. It was just a sketch, a mixed media attempt, but I didn't really like how it turned out. Yeah, so at this point, I think I started to sketch with colored pencils sometimes, and I tried to do that over here. With some sketches of lips. I, I have gap I have a gap tooth so <laughs> when I saw this picture on Pinterest I just tried to draw um somebody with gap tooth. <laughs> I think I was trying to do more expressive lips. I wanted to try something new so <sighs> over here I think I tried using these three colored pencil shades. To create a monotone sketch. I had this thing where I would make people's faces broader than they actually are. I wasn't really good at measuring proportions and I, I am still not that great sometimes. So <laughs> More attempts of me understanding the nose structure. More of the nose structure. Now I don't even know why I cancelled this, I probably just didn't like how it looked so I just cancelled them and yeah I think I like these ones a bit more than this and that's why I decided to cancel them. <laughs> uh, I tried to draw another expressive looking person. Wow, I was really obsessed with trying to understand the news, but these diagrams are just so <laughs> hilarious to me because they just look so bored and wrong, but I like the fact that I just kept trying my best. I mean, that's what's most important. I think I drew this for Valentine's Day. I wanted to create something cute but obviously I've told you guys I didn't focus so much on understanding the body so the body is really off over here everything looks a bit off and I didn't really like the color palette I used either the red and the blue wasn't really doing it for me but I still posted it because I wanted it to be a Valentine Day vibe post <laughs> My attempt at sketching ears, oh my gosh, a lot more wasted space. Uh, I think over here I attempted to do a painting of the face, something I had feared with watercolor. I don't really have much to say, let's just go on to the next page. Oh my gosh, the proportions here, it looks like she has an eye problem. One eye is this way, the other eye is that way. <laughs> I didn't have a good understanding of values and I tried to do a whole face with this and it was a failed attempt. Some doodles. Another shading portrait sketch attempt. Another attempt. At Painting a full face in watercolor. I think this was my first time actually because with the other one her face was covered With this one I had to try to paint the entire face. I mean I tried something new and as it's about trying new things. It's about having fun exploring because you never know You may begin to like something else Then we have these two sketches. I really like this 
uh, the graphite has kind of smeared it a bit but I really did love this drawing a lot I still love it I think it was really cute I really liked how her lips popped out and her eyes I didn't like this so much but <laughs> Ooh, this is another drawing I actually liked. Her forehead <laughs> looks a bit big, but I did like this drawing a lot when I did it. Yeah, again, I always avoided drawing men. I don't know why, I just like drawing women more and I was trying to draw men a bit more because with men their bone structure is more defined so it makes it easier for you to see the the planes of the head as compared to women when we have like more soft up features and all these things. Ooh. Again I tried to use colour pencils. <laughs> I didn't really like this drawing to be honest. I didn't like this so much either. <laughs> it was a man with really long hair. I thought he looked cute, so I tried to draw this. This too, I didn't really like it because the proportions were really off, but it was fun, it was fun. I was happy that I completed it because usually sometimes when I start drawing and I realize the proportions are off, I just abandon it, but at least I, I just finished it. I tried to do another watercolor painting of these two besties. Forehead too big as usual, but it was fun. I liked it. I liked that I tried. So that's it for this sketchbook. I'm so excited. This is the last one, guys. Um, I think I just saw this girl with this really cute heart on Pinterest, so I just tried to sketch her. Uh, I think more Pinterest sketches and at this point I was really trying to push myself to shade more so that I could learn to improve my shading but I always found it difficult to really push my values to make make them pop out more and I think it's something I still have to work on like even right now I feel like I find myself struggling to push my values I started to do this weird droopy thing at the end of my portrait. I don't even know. I just started doing it one day. Uh, I remember I, I didn't like this. But I do like the fiery effect that the hair gave. I think over here I was trying to paint something but I made a thumbnail of it first. So that's why it looks very blotchy. And I did this sketch of this girl with very bouncy looking hair. Oh my gosh. I remember this. This was supposed to be Georgia Smith. And I made her head entirely too long. And yeah. So for that reason, I didn't like it. Because it didn't look like her. And I made her head too long. Oh, so this was a thumbnail sketch I showed earlier. I tried to put these shapes to give like a more earthy vibe. I don't even know whether I achieved that, but I had fun with it. Oh, I really went crazy with the eyeliner over here. I think probably that's how it was in the reference. But I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Still with my droopy signature over here but it was really fun i oh my god what is going on over here because like his adam's apple sticks out i made him kind of look like a frog but <laughs> i think you can see he's a very handsome man drew his looks i really loved drawing this hair another attempt at watercolor over here and I just tried to paint the face. I was trying to really make the shadows pop out. <laughs> so I tried to use really dark colors, but it ended up being so muddy. But I liked how her face kind of turned out a bit. Oh, this is another attempt. <laughs> 
I even I didn't like this so much, but I actually posted it on my Instagram page. Some quick sketches. My quick sketches were always so terrible. <laughs> I had fun. So I tried to do this monochromatic look but then make the flowers be another like a pop of colour. Ooh, I actually did kind of like this. The browns always looked so muddy when I tried but I actually did kind of like how the hair and hair hats turned out. It was a beautiful black lady I saw from a reference photo and I just wanted to paint her so I tried oh the paper has warped a bit so this isn't a mark from my paint I tried to put some cute little stars over here and I tried to make her blush more dramatic but I got a bit muddy another beautiful woman with blonde hair i tried to really make her hair pop out it was quite difficult but i really tried and at least i was able to capture the blue in her eyes a bit uh this was another pretty girl from pinterest i saw a photo and i just wanted to try to paint her over here I was practicing hands a bit more so I think over here after practicing I was like you know why don't I try to just paint some hands in watercolor I just liked how they turned out then also had this I really did my best to make the fur appear really fluffy it was difficult but I tried and I really liked how her hand turned out here yeah hmm. so this was another painting I didn't really like the color palette I used here I tried to do braids <laughs> that was interesting because I had never painted braids before then okay I don't really know what I was doing over here so I think over here I was trying to practice more head anatomy. It was definitely a draw this in your style because I wouldn't come up with this myself. Oops. <laughs> Let me get this. I actually don't know whether this lady was praying, but I think I thought the reference was cute, so I was like, let me try this. I think I just tried to capture her, how peaceful she looked. I just tried to capture that. Well, another one, another watercolor painting. Let's move on to the next. Some doodles. <laughs> sketches of the head. Um, structure. The sketches, ooh. I think I like how the nose and the lips here looked. I think more of the Asaro head planes. I tried to draw it on different people's heads. This is the last page. I usually just swatched on the last page. So after this point, I started to get a lot more into digital art. At that point, I wasn't sketching as much as I used to. I'll just pop up a bit of my digital artworks I did towards the end of 2020 to 2021 over here. I'll leave a link to my Instagram art page in case you'd want to see a bit more of my digital artworks. Even though, yes, there were a lot of cringy and embarrassing drawings, at least over time you can see that there was a gradual progression. And I hope that just motivates you to not give up, to keep going because as long as you're not comparing yourself to other people and you just look back on what you did in the past, you will definitely see progress and I feel like that's why we should keep our cringy sketchbooks. It, it gives you a boost of motivation when you look back and you realize how far you've come from that period. Essentially, I guess the cringy artwork is really 
important to our growth as artists. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing the art supplies that I used to create some of these artworks, you can check out this video over here where I show a couple of my art supplies and places where I love to get art supplies in Ghana. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. See you next week. Bye!